أعزائي المشاهدين أهلا وسهلا بكم في حلقة جديدة من برنامجكم الوطني رواد الأعمال كما عودناكم في كل حلقة أن نستضيف نخبة من رجال الأعمال المتميزة اخترنا لكم اليوم مستر رانجي تشافان the owner of not only real estate properties مستر رانجي we would like to welcome you first in our show today we are really glad that you will be one of our guests we would like to know more about Mr. Ranji. So basically you've introduced uh, me with my name, yeah, that's, so I'm Ranji Chavan, I'm the owner and the CEO of Nautilus Properties. Uh, as, as, as Nautilus, it's a very new company, but I've been into the real estate business for the last 30 years plus. I came here in 91 and up to 2005, I was working for large companies handling real estate portfolios. And by the year 2000, when you know, the freehold uh, laws were announced, uh, we had a lot more action in that field. So, you know, I left what I was doing and moved to the freehold mm -hmm. part of the real estate industry. And ever since then, have been involved with the freehold side of the business. Uh, it's a very, very interesting business. And in 2005, I started my first company, which in 2017, I sold it off to, um, uh, to a very large international company. I became a managing partner there and in 2009-19 we amicably separated. Uh, yeah. Obviously after that COVID affected everybody of in the world and in the last quarter of 2021 I decided to set up this company but along with this real estate company which is my core business I have also been able to in the past 5-6 years been able to diversify into a few other fields okay. like restaurants um, we are also into distribution of food stuff and some kitchenware. This is a B2B uh, uh, kind of a business where we are, you know, uh, trading into goods which we get it from various parts of the world and supply yeah. to the supermarkets here. So we're not in direct connection with the with the customers, but the retailers are our uh, main clients. So a successful story. Yes. Until now, right. we are really impressed about Thank you. how really inspiring your story is. We would like to know why did, what inspired you here to See, start up here in Dubai? I mean, I started uh, in Dubai at a very early age. I was probably 17 and a half or Master. 18 years of age. Mm -hmm. Got into the business of real estate. I was working for um, a company that is owned by uh, a family that is known to my father and my mm -hmm. family. So family, friends kind of. And then uh, that way just got into real estate. So I worked from 91 up until 2005 uh, for different companies, very big companies, uh, some large corporates. I was heading the, uh, the divisions of real mm -hmm. estate and finally in 2005 decided to do it on my own because obviously I had by, by then I had had 14, 15 years of experience of course. and I had seen the market grow because we've seen an exponential growth from 91 onwards mm -hmm. you know, and the graph has always been up. So that basically inspired me to start off my own business. But more than that, I think the, the, the development that was happening around the town, the city, especially mm -hmm. Dubai, I mean, overall in the UAE, the development was fast. But what inspired is, you know, the way that the city's vision was actually becoming into a reality. I mean, yeah. when in back in 2099, when we saw all the master plans of mm -hmm. what um, the big developers and the government vis visualized to do, was actually started to come in reality, you know, slowly, slowly. So that is uh, uh, the main inspiration uh, of course. behind starting your own business. Of course, here in Dubai, it's really fast and yeah, it's yeah. really incredible how fast the growth is, okay. as you said. Tell us more about the services that you provide here. See, uh, one of the reasons that we've been around for such a long time is because of our connections, our contacts and the experience and expertise that we have gained throughout these years de dealing with you know hundreds and hundreds and hundreds yeah. of customers mm -hmm. and at the developers at the same time so we understand the market a little bit better than you know anybody else experience. in terms of it's the experience. experience so my theory is that this experience and expertise if you are able to share it with your clients if we are able to educate them and if you are able to help them make a better decision of where to invest how to invest what to invest I think that is the key, that is important. Otherwise, anybody and everybody can sell. So we not we distinguish ourselves different than just able to sell something mm -hmm. to a client. We, we would want and we like to educate the client and help him make an informed decision. Mm -hmm. So when what happens with us is when the client, when we give him 
the entire experience and entire journey of how this city has grown how you can you know make some very good investments mm. so they are more informed and educated to take a decision on their own yeah so in that process we then at the end the result is that they will obviously they are going to ask us then okay then what do you recommend in terms of you know what we can do but because now we know so then we give them you know a few comparables mm-hmm. and then help them to decide so obviously uh, 99 out of 100 clients who we interact with end up buying with us so you know it's a little bit of a different process that that gives us uh, that edge of course the experience also yes, plays a big yes. role with that mr ranjit as you know here in the uae all the business fields are full of competitors sure so you need to have something special yeah. to give and to offer to the client so what makes you special than others see we've been into the business for 30 years and i think that's the key point we offer a lot of our experience expertise along with a full transparency to the clients and that's the key which i have seen with the clients once you are open and transparent with them it is reciprocal so yeah. they will you know respond in the same they way. will always come back yeah absolutely so as let's say a big businessman here in the uae you have already spent let's say over 30 35 years here in the uae sure. give us an advice for those who are willing to open up a business now in 2022 i mean you see this place allows you to focus on your business completely you mm-hmm. don't have to worry about anything this got, this city has the best infrastructure in the world it's a fast growing city it's logistically connected to everywhere mm-hmm. and the laws are very conducive to the investments coming in mm-hmm. so the government is make makes it extremely easy benchmark for anybody who wants to enter and set up a new business and mm-hmm. we know as our airlines we connected to every part of the world so whether you want to go to the east whether you want to go to the west mm-hmm. you're there you know you are almost there everywhere all destinations covered of course so without a goal you will not be here yeah you had set up a goal since you started yeah. we need now to know what is your next step what is your next goal well i mean when we started the goal was obviously you know to make some money and then of go course. back home and stay mm-hmm. but you know in the process ended up you know this is my home now yeah. i cannot when i go back home i feel after a few days i started to feel un- uncomfortable mm-hmm. you know i mean this city is offered everything yeah. this is home so i mean the goal is to obviously retire here <laughs> take these businesses as we as i said you know we've diversified into a few mm-hmm. other businesses uh, apart from the tangible real estate so we just last week have also started an education business mm-hmm. so this is you know i mean then you know these are some businesses that run on their own something good to give back to the society so mm-hmm. and so forth so you know i mean at the end of the day contentment is mm-hmm. is what your goal is what your target is of course we hope all the best for you and for the business as well mr ranjit safety and security here in the in dubai is let's say dubai is one of the safest city Absolutely. in the in Absolutely. the world yeah. so how does this affect you as a businessman and how does this affect the investors also I mean, you see this this place gives you protection of all sorts you don't have to worry about anything your social life your social security is absolutely fantastic your quality of life is good everything is available here mm-hmm. at your fingertips so what else do you need you know i mean you this these are the things that are of no worries here yeah. you know this is not the uh, case in a lot of other countries uh, if we are able to compare so there is absolutely no problem you know you just have to you know i mean i have my daughter my wife going out on their own at 2 3 4 in the night there mm-hmm. is absolutely no issues of see these things don't come very easy mm-hmm. we have to be grateful to the country who have been able to put this kind of infrastructure for all of us to stay here yeah of course so we would like to thank you also thank you. for being with us today in our show it was really an honor having you with us we would like also to know how can we reach and contact sure so notless properties and uh, and the group of you know this is like an head office to to everything that we do we are located on the sheikh zayed road very conveniently next to the oasis center Mm-hmm. we are in the new kia motors uh, showroom building which has got an office block on g office number g28 so all the contacting numbers and the website will be also shown down the screen sure. thank you again mr ranjit it was really an honor ila huna a'zai almushahidin wa hi halqatana alusbu'iyya ma dayfna almumayyaz tabi'una each friday and saturday on your channel abc arabia dumtum bi khair wa fi amanillah